welcome back to our second hour. Go to Fall Guy. I'm Guy, and we got another hour together, and I'm excited. So let me tell you what I'm excited. I'm excited about this whole hour because we have beautiful flowers. Get them in the ground now. Wait till spring. Gonna be gorgeous. But look what do we have? We Bell, actually, our little squirrel Bell, made this happen. I don't know how, but I said, Bell, I want a pressure washer in the show. So Bell made a few calls, you know, and, and did some work. If we got it, look at the value. Oh no. $109 for a 2,000 PSI pressure washer from Sun Joe. I was just telling you about Sun Joe, how much I love these guys, great warranties. This is perfect year-round maintenance for your home, your car, your boat, your RV. If you wanna wash the car, it's got that super-powered turbo brush, all the attachments, all electric, no gas, no fumes, no noise. You're gonna love this. Whether you're blowing the, the, the debris off the driveway, the mold, the mildew, your car, boat, patio, your deck, your driveway, wheel wells, uh, brake dust off the tires. Look at the angle function. Sweet. Love these guys. These guys are the best. Sunjo, one of my favorite new companies. And you get a two-year warranty with this one. Um, I have it available. It's on wheels. It'll go anywhere you need it to go. Hook one end up uh, to your hose and the other end uh, to an outlet. And you just go to town. And you will get addicted to cleaning when you own this machine. Normally 130 something, 109. And you'll get $10 off, you get a brand new credit card, make it 99.95. Slam dunk, so keep on the lookout for that. That's coming up a little bit later. Let's get started. We have another great power tool for you, uh, which is also electric, uh, uh, which is a good thing in this case, because uh, we, we all know, listen, what's been going on everywhere, especially down here in the Northeast, everywhere, rain right? Everybody is getting tons and tons of rain. We had a hurricane blow through. It's going all the way up through sort of the center of the country towards the East Coast. Everybody's getting flooding. How do you get rid of that, that liquid water that's in your garage, that's on your driveway, that is uh, in your basement if you live up in New England and have a sump pump? You need a wet and dry vacuum. What I love about these is because it's a dry vacuum too, it is super powered, more powerful than any traditional vacuum. Plus you have the ability to vacuum up liquids as well. Today's price is $159. It's on FlexPay, uh, three payments of $53.32. So whether you are using it to control leaks or flooding or your uh, workshop area, your basement, your garage, your car, your boat, your RV, it has a five gallon tank which will hold liquid or it will also hold debris. Comes with a debris bag so you can dump out the bag and use that over and over. It weighs only 12 pounds. It is on a five wheel base. So you can move it anywhere you want. It's, I mean, it's a shop back. Everybody wants one of these normally shop backs, 500 bucks. Okay, that's what they normally cost. And a lot of shop backs will not also do liquid. This does both. 722481. Uh, I know not everybody may need a shop back, but I know a lot of people out there that do. Let me introduce you to my friend, Justin Hyatt who's standing by outside, ready to suck up some stuff with that machine. This machine, <laughs> this thing is awesome, Justin, awesome. T totally awesome. By the way, completely cordless. You were talking about shop bags. Oh yeah, nothing to plug in. You gotta plug in those, right? We've all seen these. This yes. is what everybody's seen before. You don't have to worry about plugging this in. These are completely cordless, running off of the most powerful battery that Sun Joe has offered today. This is a 24 volt, four amp battery, lithium ion, wow. charges wow. faster, gives you more powerful. When you're ready to use it, you pop it right in here, and then you're done. Think about that, a wet dry vac that's completely cordless. Now, you were talking about all those storms that are coming. There's tons of storms that are filling up basements. How about how, how many of you are running your AC units and they're freezing over because it's totally right. hot out? If you need to suck all that up, Okay, battery operated, everybody. You can suck up all that water into five gallon steel, steel tank. I'm gonna come over here. This is our setup for our wet vac. Now you've got your dry vac. You can switch it back and forth. The only thing you need to do is take out your filter. We give you everything that you need uh, to reset it back up. But when you wanna have the power to fill up and get all that sawdust or screws or leaves or whatever you need to clean up, you got the power right here as well. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so we are already busy. I will tell you this, we do not have a lot of these to go around, it is very limited. If you would like a vacuum that basically can vacuum up anything, 
and I mean anything, spills inside the house. Normally, if you spilled something like a gallon of milk, or, or, if, you, or if you broke something on the ground and you had liquid all over the floor, what are you doing first? You're, you're getting towels out, right? You're sopping it all right. up with towels, and nobody likes to do that. You can pull this out wet or dry. And forgive me, you know, it's funny, uh, because I knew this was cordless, but I think I still didn't believe it. Even when I got out here, I'm like, wait a minute, this, this, how, can this be, how can this be cordless? It's the battery. The battery is the most jacked up battery for pretty much any other power tool that we own. This one is more powerful because it has to support a lot of, of functionality with this vacuum. And whether you're using it to vacuum out the bed of your truck, and you know, I mean, Justin, what's the other option? You're gonna haul your vacuum outside, get an extension cord. It doesn't have the right tools. This is loaded with every tool, dust brush, utility nozzle, foam, Filter. It comes with the uh, telescopic uh, uh, tube, all your hose, everything is included with this all for $159. So what I'm going to do, if I can, I'm going to turn mine on here. I can't get over the fact that I don't have a cord. Look at this. It's completely cordless. That's crazy. I love it. So I can vacuum up whatever it is that I need, whether it's nuts and bolts, right? Whether it's cereal. Doesn't matter, it's a very, very, very powerful vacuum. We got oatmeal here. Notice nothing is scattering because the return is down on the floor. By the way, it's wheeled, so you don't have to worry about the wheel. And, and not only that, I don't have to worry about my uh, container filling up because you've got a huge, huge amount of area inside the machine that allows you, I mean, look at this, it's crazy. I don't know, I'm gonna do almost all my demos. Look at this, how about that? Boom, done. That is a quick, turn it off. No worries, you can recharge after that. Here's the other side of it. What if you have liquid? I put, we put some liquid in here in this tank. We got it set up to suck up liquid. Oh, it blew everything all up. Okay, wait a minute. This is, on, this, is a, this is on my blower. So we need to turn it, it's also a blower by the way. If you need to blow yes. stuff away. I got the, I pulled the wrong side out, right? Nah, no worries. <laughs> we just have to adjust it. Hey, can you guys, just flick it over so that it's on suction and not on blowing on this one, and then I'll show you the water. But in the meantime, Justin, I'm sure you have that demo there as well. Well, I want to tell you two different things. So it is a blower. You can fill up a mattress. You can use this to fill up all of your pool toys. You can use this to blow leaves out of the way if you wanted to. But the, the, the ability to run off a battery, this is going to run for 35 minutes. 35 minutes off of that 24 volt lithium ion battery. So I can take this out to the car and I don't have to worry about an extension cord. I can take this into the basement and I don't have to worry about running an extension cord into the water. Think about that. If your basement's flooded, do you really want a power cord in the water? You don't need that. When we come back to me, I wanna show you, you can take this out to your car and then we can just start cleaning out this inside of our car with a shop bag. We can start cleaning out all that salt. Now, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and clean out all these leaves that might be stuck inside your vehicle, twigs if you have twigs that are stuck inside of here. Clean up all of your car, clean up all that debris, oh, yeah. and not have to worry about having to have an extension cord to bring out to your vehicle to do <laughs> all of that job. All right, come back to me, so I'll show you what we did. <laughs> Just so you don't think I'm a dork, which I am, but <laughs> sometimes. So there are, there, are two, uh, there are two areas. One is a return and one is suction where you can plug the, the uh, end of the hose into. We had ours on the return, so that's why it was blowing around. But here's a good thing about that. Now if you've got rafts or inflatables that you need to fill up, you can use it as an air pump as well. So we, we reconfigured it and put it back on the other side. So now we're back into suction. So I'll turn it on and you can see suction. So now when I wanna get rid of liquid, all I do is submerge it in and watch, this is really cool. Sorry that took so long. <laughs> what? I didn't prepare on that going so, or for, for that to go so fast. That is how powerful the suction is. And you know, I, uh, 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 Justin, I come from, uh, I grew up in New England, right? And I don't know if you're uh, familiar with New England, but um, almost, you know, we have, uh, almost everybody up there has basements. And the problem with the basement is it's subterranean, and the problem with older basements is they are made of concrete and concrete cracks. So everybody, almost everybody I knew had a flooded basement in a really bad rainstorm when the, when the rain uh, water got down to a certain level. People would get four, five, six inches of, of water in their basement. 
And so you would have to break a hole in, in the bottom. You'd have to submerge a sump pump, run a thing out the window. So now your house isn't safe because you got a pipe going out the window. You could get out there very, very quickly and suck up all that liquid lickety split if you had a wet vac. Also, let's say you, things like an egg falls on the floor, right? Suck the egg up. Whatever is in liquid form, you can get rid of it. Whatever is in dry form, you can do it as well. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable also, Justin, using their garage vac inside their house, so they don't really want to use their home vacuum outside, you know what I mean, to, to do industrial work uh, because, you know, they have carpeting and beautiful hardwood floors. You can use this for your only vacuum, but if, if not, you can use it for your specialty vacuum. All I know is at 159, they're going quick, um, totally cordless, works on battery power, all right? And you're gonna get tons and tons of runtime on this. Don't worry, that battery is super, super jacked up. 722481, show me some more things there, Justin. Well, I wanted to tell you, you brought up Northeast. I just got off the phone yesterday with my uncle, who, uh, Uncle Jeff, total Bostonian. He's got, he's a mechanic. He's got a basement. He's lost, he's lost memorabilia. He's lost stuff that he's collected inside of his basement. He's like, okay, does it suck up water? He's going through all the, he's going through everything. Check this out. Guy was just showing you. You have the power to clean up all that basement, any of those AC units. That's, this is one of the quickest demos that we've got right here. It doesn't take near seconds, but to be able to suck all that up. Then he was talking about guy, a uh, uh, guy, he's like, what about all the filters? What about all the different filters? You can take off your paper filter when you're not using it for your wet vac, throw on the foam vac. We also even give you the paper bag. So if you want to fill up that with any of yeah. that sawdust. So again, so if he's got sawdust that he's got, we're in the workshop that he's got. He can easily just go ahead over here and start sucking up all that. You got power to take this anywhere you want with it being completely cordless. That's again, that's one of the biggest things about this is that you don't have to worry about grabbing a cord to run it in 35 minutes of runtime. And look at this, I love this. I'm just gonna suck up all this, this whole entire bowl right here in just seconds. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna use mine again. So I took, <laughs> I, I took my mess and I put it all in the center mm. here. I'm turn it on, excuse me, excuse me, Miss Bell. Always in the way, is that Bell? That's not Bell. That's the unnamed one. It's gotta be a girl. And nobody, and I, I said Lindsay, but we have a Lindsay that works here and she said you can't name the squirrel Lindsay after me. So let me show you the power of this, all right? So it doesn't matter if it's nuts or bolts, big pieces, small pieces, I kind of put my whole mess together here to, to show you that it works on anything and everything. All right, I don't even have the attachment on here. You know, I can put the crevice tool on there and make this job go a lot quicker. It's not scattering like a regular vacuum does. It's sucking everything up. I'm getting most of it, everything right there. You know what's nice too is not having to worry about emptying a small canister or worried about that. I love the idea of having um, the bag in addition to Justin. So if I'm vacuuming up uh, something that's nasty, I can keep it sort of sequestered in a bag. I don't have to worry about dumping out my container and then having the container smell like whatever it is I vacuumed up. This is an indoor outdoor vacuum, so use this outside, even if you want to clean debris. Maybe you got a patio and it's, there's dirt and dust all over the place. You don't want to bring in, you don't want to bring in your regular push vac to do that. You certainly aren't going to use your push vac to vacuum up anything liquid. This comes with a three year, remember what I was telling you before about how much I love works and Sun Joe? These guys have stepped it up with, with a warranty. And that, that's what gives you the confidence to be like, you know what, they're gonna give me three years on this thing? I mean, if it lasted me three years, I'd be really happy for only 159 bucks, but you're gonna have it for years and years and years. But they stand behind it in case something happens to it. So whether you've got, you know, leaks, uh, you know, or, or maybe, it, you know what I did one time? True story, you wanna hear the story? One time I, I was in Arizona, I was visiting my, my in-laws from, you know, when I was married. And uh, I went to this, we went to this bar with our family and I had a convertible that I rented so I left the convertible top down and I pulled into this parking spot which I thought was really good in the corner. Sprinklers went off. Four inches of water in the car. In the convertible. I'm like, I walk out, I'm like, what, what? <laughs> wet vac, that's what I needed bro. I needed a wet vac right there, man. You, you did. Know, I did you get it clean and I never told them and I returned it and they never got me. Anyway, if you'd like to get this, <laughs> it's 722481. Uh, Justin, great job. I love that it's cordless. That makes all the difference so easy, right? Yep, cordless, and then when you're ready to just drain it out, back into that bowl, wherever you need to drain it, take it outside, dump it out, you got a drain right there. And this is stainless steel, so you don't have to even worry about this rusting after you fill it up with any type of liquid, good stuff, bad stuff. 
Oh, Whatever man. it might be. And Love I know it. we got the pressure washer coming up in a little bit. Dude, they're already, you better be ready because they're coming for that pressure washer. 109 bucks. 2,000. I'm ready. 2,000 PSI and a two year warranty. What? That's coming up a little bit. All right, buddy, we'll see you in a bit. Go get ready. <laughs> All, right. All right, hey, uh, quick reminder do we have any of those lights left? Oh, 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 we're showing this light. Okay, I got you. This is coming up. This is our Bell and Howell solar powered spotlight. So I cannot get over 1995 on this, okay? 1995 for a solar spot. So where do you need it? Uh, my recycle bin, my garbage can, so I can see what's going on out there. Uh, how about if somebody creeps onto my property? I'd love to have a light right there over my barbecue grill. It'll stay on as long as it sees motion, automatically turns off. All right, it works on solar. You never have to put a battery in it. Andre, is that really $19.95 for that? That is a crazy price for a solar light like this. Um, you, you, I mean, look at it. You have the ability to either stake it in or you can, you can hang it. It's awesome. Six nine seven three two three. That's coming up a little bit later. All right. <sighs> Take a little breath. Do a little dance. By the way, we still don't have those available, but I'm working on it. The squirrel chair with the ear of corn. <laughs> That's the best way to feed squirrels. Uh, we'll try to get that back. Anyway, we're gonna shift gears into plants. I know well, you're all going, but guy, it's the end, it's fall. What am I doing? Blah, blah. Here's the key to getting successful plants, many of them. All right, when you have a plant that needs a bulb to go into the ground, the time to get it into the ground is the fall, all right? You don't plant these early in spring. They need that frost to trigger their whole growing mechanism. They need all that time to get their roots set in and to get themselves prepared. You will have better plants if you plant them the season before, and then they'll just pop up and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot we planted those beautiful plants. This is what we call our tangerine twist daylily. First of all, I love anything orange. I think orange is such an underrated super color, right? Absolutely love it. It's ideal in a garden setting because it contrasts so beautifully with the green foliage that it comes with. This is a perfect, plant for beginners, okay? If you've never planted anything before, this is what you're gonna get, all right? You're gonna get the rootstock. You wanna get that into the ground, all right? You're gonna watch, it'll start to get a little bit green. As it goes into its dormant months, it'll track back down, and then as soon as springtime comes, boom, fireworks. You will be shocked, and the color that will come out of these will wow you. $17.95, free shipping and handling, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're gonna get three of these, three separate plants for $17.95. 732411, this is how they will come to you. They will come to you in rootstock, which I always love. So easy peasy, right? Pop them in the ground. We'll tell you, Rochelle will tell you how to do that in a minute. And just wait for the fireworks to begin in spring. Rochelle Grayer, who is our expert on all things that grow beautifully, is here to tell us about it. Hello, Miss Rochelle. Hello, good morning. I love these. I, I have to show oh. you something, actually. I pulled this pot out this morning. Yeah. I had this pot from a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was only a one week ago when we did the daylilies before. Yeah. And I had this, uh, I had this, uh, they come like this, you know, you've shown this. Uh, so you see that. Anyway, I just threw this one on top of the dirt. It's just been sitting there. It has already rooted in. It's like attached. That's how easy these are to grow. It's crazy. This thing is just literally laying on top of the dirt and it's already, and it threw up this leaf too. I mean, this is, this is how uh, easy they are to grow. You cannot go wrong. This is how you should plant them upright. So the green parts go up. But honestly, if you just throw it on top of the dirt or upside down, it's still going to grow as I saw already in one week since uh, since we last showed these. So um, these are super, super hardy. They are gonna grow top to bottom. They also last for decades and they multiply. So they don't multiply fast. They're not like aggressive or anything, but when you buy one, you ultimately in a few years will be able to dig up and, and share them or spread them around. Um, they're just really, really simple plants. You cannot go wrong with these. And you get these big, beautiful blooms uh, kind of mid to late summer. Um, sort of July time frame. That's a really great time for the garden because in a lot of places, that's a really difficult time yes. to get a lot of blooms. <clears throat> uh, we get a lot of stuff in the spring. We get a lot of stuff in the fall. That midsummer time is kind of tricky sometimes. And then this also has um, this great grassy foliage that looks fantastic 
throughout the rest of the year. I mean, it's just this lush, 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 nice foliage. You, so you really cannot go wrong with this. No, you know what I love about them too? And I was, I was mentioning, Rochelle, the color orange, because most people yeah. do not have an orange house. <laughs> they look great on everybody's no. property because they pop, right? Because most people have they a traditional, do. you know, a white house or a brown house or a green house or whatever, or even a yellow house. But most people don't paint their house orange. So if you put these around your property, you know, I know I've got, I have, uh, actually I have um, daylilies and daffodils on one full side of my house that were planted before I moved there. That was 12 years ago. I, and do you know they still you know what? They still come out? They do. They do. Both of those things, uh, they naturalize. We don't call it naturalizing with daylilies. They just kind of uh, spread. But we call it naturalizing with the bulbs. And in fact, we're, we're doing the daffodils. Not today. we got tulips. But uh, the daffodils and the, and the uh, daylilies are a fantastic combo together you plant one under the other because the daffodils will come up in the spring and then the daylilies will hide kind of their dying foliage it. as they yeah. go back when they come up next it's one of those like succession plantings all gardeners yeah. are always trying to have that like one thing yeah. comes one thing goes and uh daffodils and daylilies make it super easy or daffodils and tulips for that matter make it easy for yourself because yeah. they just one to the next and by the way this is the time to be planting you know you got time to do it right now if a lot of you are home and you're looking for jobs that are fun and relaxing and kind of outdoorsy get these down and get them planted now you will love it so we were just referring to our tulips right which we have yep. these are not like traditional tulips. these are traditional tulips okay and you'll see they're beautiful right these ones over here to the right but you'll notice that the one thing that these tulips do is they only shoot up one flower at a time the ones we're offering here over here see each one in one plant that's all you get these, Rochelle, are different. You've got multiple tulips coming up out of each one of these. And look at, these are living yes. tulips. Look at how beautiful Belle loves being inside there. Look at her little fort. But these are gorgeous. These are called, yeah. let me switch my card. These are called Candy Club uh, tulips. You're gonna get eight of these uh, in a what we call a bulb pad. And this is an actual pad. I wanna uh, break this down every, for everybody, Rochelle, because this makes it really easy, yeah. right? This does make it super easy. So uh, you see this all the time. I see it as a garden designer all the time. People uh, love spring bulbs. They go out and if they have eight tulips, they dig eight little holes, uh, which then ends up with this like one, 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 one sort of little right. thing. And nobody really loves that because they don't create a nice cluster. So this makes it easy and helps you get your spacing correct. So all eight of those tulips are gonna be inside this pad spaced perfectly. And here's the super cool thing. Uh, if you have a pot, like you have here, I have one in here already. All you have to do is just lay your bloom pad right in there and that's it. Cover it with the dirt and you're ready to go. All the spacing is done. You only are digging one hole and then you're gonna get like what you have there on set, that beautiful container. And here's the other thing about these particular tulips. First of all, they have that beautiful oh, pink and white bloom oh, on color. them, which is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. But most tulips, most tulips you get are one bulb, one bloom. So, you know, they just come up it's one to one, you know, if you, you get a flower and then when they're gone, they're gone. These are different because each of the stems that come off of each of these bloom pads, so you'll get one main leader stem, each of them have two to three flowers on them, which is very unusual for tulips. So with this bloom pad, you're gonna get, you know, upwards of eight times three, 24 blooms off of it, where with normal um, tulips, you would only get eight. So it's upwards of three times more flowers from this particular uh, uh, collection. Uh, it's the, specifically the Candy Club tulip that, that does that. There are some that have these multi-blooms. And so that's what we've done here is put the multi-bloom one in your bloom pad so you get that nice full thing. And by the way, I have this in like a, what is this, a nine inch pot? This is a little small, to be honest. I would go with a 12 inch pot. You're just gonna get a big head of flowers in the spring. It's gonna be fantastic. I, I, I just, the color. And, and, and you'll see the variation in color now. These, as you can see, are not quite open, but on our, our footage that we shot, and you'll see that next, look at the color that these, I've never mm -hmm. seen anything like it. They are so Super beautiful. Pretty. And uh, I mean, for cut flowers, for just around your yep. property. Imagine these growing. Close your eyes, look at your, uh, you know, think about your property, and then think about your property with these, just growing in the springtime, summertime. Look at that shot right there. I mean, they are, that, that, that is it's, so, so like beautiful. a professional garden, Rochelle. That's what it looks like. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, and, and that's the whole point of the bloom pad is to take that 
uh, trickery or, or question out of it. People just get a little nervous when they go to dig those in. Um, and this, this really makes it easy so that, you know, if you want something like that picture, I would probably get a few bloom pads because right. those were mixed in with, uh, uh, some, some other things, but, but this will give you that beautiful clumping look. I think that's what we all love. We see these just luscious clumps of um, tulips and daffodils and things come out every spring and they look amazing. We always kind of, when we just see one, we look, we think, oh gosh, a squirrel got to it and replanted it or something <laughs> in the wrong spot. But so this will fix that problem for you and, uh, and give you that nice big um, bunch of flowers. All it's right. a great gift too, by the way. You oh, can just uh, plant I one of these it. up and give it away to somebody. Put this Such in the a ground. nice treat. Put this in the ground, cover it with dirt. Okay, that's all you need to do. And give it a little water, yep. right? And it'll do the rest of yep. the work for you. That's why we give you these little bloom pads. So if you love that color, I know Belle loves that color. Come on over because we've got one more. You know, we don't do as many uh, flowers. We're still doing free shipping on all the flowers and plants. We don't do as many uh, in this season um, just because we know a lot of you are like, nah, I don't, I'm going to wait. Well, let me just tell you. <laughs> Actually, I'll let Rochelle tell you. Rochelle, it's better to get them in the ground now. Will you tell everybody why? It is better to get it in the ground now. Um, fall planting season, people always look at me like, what do you mean fall planting season? No, fall planting season is in so many ways better than spring planting season. And the reason is because in the fall, all these plants, they're actually naturally going into that dieback period. It's only a month or month and a half or so before you're gonna have a frost. They're naturally pulling all that energy down into their roots and they're putting all that fo focus into root growth, which is what you want them to be doing anyway. In the spring, you want them to be doing that. It's just that they're gonna fight you on it and they're gonna wanna throw out those leaves because it's spring. And so they're not gonna do the root growth. You want them to do that root growth that will give them the strength that they need to then next year be able to throw out even more leaves and be bigger better plants and stronger plants than they would if they were planted in the spring so yeah. it's sort of counterintuitive but that is how plants work you want that root growth right away you want them to establish you want them to like settle into your yard and be happy and that is all about yeah. root growth and then they can throw that out in the spring yeah. with all the new leaves and let's flowers. Let's talk, so let's talk about these hostas. So here's what I love about yeah. hosta. First of all, I love the color. I love the variegation, uh, variegated color of the yellow and, and the green and all that. But these are a staple in any garden. When you order, <coughs> this is what you're gonna receive, right? And you can get yep. it right in the ground. Um, first season, it's gonna grow. This one even actually grew a flower. And I don't know if you can move Mind up a little too. bit. Oh my gosh, have you ever, the this, this scent, it's yeah, absolutely beautiful. Great. Wow. So that's so the next sweet. season. Yeah. And then you'll see they will get bigger as they go into the full season. $22.99, you get two of the hosta plants. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these are great around trees, shrubs. By the way, all our plants have a one-year warranty uh, of replacement. And by the way, when we send them out to you, depending on where you live in the country, some people will get them right away. Some people will get them a little bit later. It really depends on when your frost season is and all that. So the people that are up north will probably get theirs a little bit quicker. Uh, but tell me about these, Rochelle. Yeah, so um, I've got mine here. Mine actually threw out a bloom too. Look at this. This wow. is this is just right here on the first first year. Uh, you know what it comes in the box. Yours may or may not have a bloom, but it will get a bloom next year when these uh, when these come back uh, in the spring. And if for whatever reason they don't come back, which we do guarantee them, uh, th you know, you just give us a call at Cottage Hill. You'll have the brochure that comes in the box. It has all of our contact details. So. Um, Anyway, but these are incredibly hardy. They're gonna be great all the way north to south. And the best place for these is in the shade. These do not love a ton of sun. They want to be under the tree, you know, in that place where, to be honest, a lot of other things don't often grow. And these are really great problem solvers. If you see, these are just in little pots here. I mean, they're good size, but they're not nearly as big as they will get. One of the things these are known for is their giant leaves. So as these plants mature, these leaves will get more, you'll get a ton more of these leaves, but they'll be huge, like multi, like there, you Look see there, wow. multi feet wide. And it's just this gorgeous, luscious green texture for your garden. That's why hostas, they come in all kinds of shapes and colors <laughs> because we love them so much. These leaves are just beautiful. And the two we have here are particularly pretty. There's a white one, uh, I'm sorry, lime green with white trim edges. Yeah. And then the other one has more of a blue leaf with like a Love green it. trimmed edges. So you have two really nice choices to get that beautiful texture in your garden. 
And that's really what it's all about, color and texture, right? And then yeah. making and making the decision to get them in the ground as soon as you can. We'll ship these right out, $22.99, free shipping and handling. Rochelle, you're so lovely. I appreciate you Skyping in. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. I love later. it. We'll see you soon. All right, <laughs> bye. See you, Rochelle. Grab them while you can, 732-767. Wait till you see what we got coming up. The solar spotlight, pressure washer. Oh, it's all good. Be right back. journeyed around the globe. I've seen the beauty the world has to offer. Now I'm bringing you new fabrics, patterns, and soft silhouettes with spicy details. Exotic, but with a new degree of sophistication. Global Chic is all about fashion freedom. So be free. Iman Global Chic, only on HSN. There is nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you've missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. I'm on a hunt for the things that make life easier. You know, the products you can't live without. It's all about having the right tool for the right job. Come join me every Saturday at 7 a.m. to find out what makes me say, now that's clever. up look at that all our squirrels we got jojo there we have the squirrel to be named later and well, bells are out here somewhere but anyway welcome back to the go-to fall guy i'm guy so we saved two really really special items for this hour this i've never presented before and i am telling you for twenty dollars you, you, you remember earlier we had the garden dealer this is the next best twenty dollars you're gonna spend because this is a solar powered spotlight no more running wires no more even having to supply power all right, it runs on solar power. You can mount this anywhere outdoors. You can mount just as long as it gets some sun on the solar panel and it'll light up any area of your home. So if you wanna do it, like I said earlier, if, if you've got you know, your recycle bins or your garbage area and you wanna light that up, if you wanna put it right in the front, front of your house to light a spotlight when you walk in above your garage, anywhere you need light, you can get it. $19.95, I don't expect these to last the show. Uh, they're gonna go very quickly at this price, 697-323. They are super bright with eight built-in LEDs. Now, normally when you talk about solar lights, you know, especially uh, landscape lights, you're lucky if you get one, four, you know, uh, LEDs. That's all they put in. This has eight because it's a spotlight. You want it to be super bright. Again, remember what I told you earlier about the size of the solar panel? That is huge because that is what's supplying the power while this works. And the reason this is so perfect is because it's a, um, a, a, a solar powered motion light um, that you're gonna be getting that great light uh, whenever you need it, all right? 697-323. In fact, let me make sure of that. Lou, is this a, yeah. mo is this is a motion light? It's a motion light, right. yeah, that's this what is to make sure. It doesn't have it light. written down, but I assume that's what it is. So when some, somebody crosses the path, the light turns on. No, it does, and it'll yeah. stay on for 30 seconds or Perfect. until the motion stops, which is really cool. Big solar panel on top of this guy, easy installation. We give you the mounting hardware for it. If you decide you want to mount it like we have here uh, on a vertical surface, we also give you a stake that just fits right onto the bottom like this, so you can mount it in the grass or a flower pot or whatever it is that you want to do there. And if you look at this, there's eight LEDs on this, and they're what we call SMD LEDs, surface mount device LEDs, little tiny ones all the way around there. The center black spot right there, that's actually where the uh, motion sensor is. And then on the top of this in the solar panel, there's a uh, photosensitive um, uh, part as well. So it knows when it gets dark and then the lights come on. But this thing is amazing. It's fully adjustable, so you can aim this in any direction you want to. Once you have it mounted, it locks into place and it's going to give you that really, really bright security light, that safety light, or even just a beautiful light anytime you want it. Now, I'm gonna bring the lights down in her studio. Kelly, are you ready? My wife Kelly's directing today. Kelly's ready, okay, here we go. Watch this guy. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna turn my lights off. Now the lights are gonna do a self-test because you can see the red lights blinking. Yeah. Watch this, I move around. Look, 
Look what happens oh, here wow. as I go in front of these. <laughs> is it? I mean, the light that comes off of these things is ridiculous. I mean, I have no other lights out of my studio. Wow. There's one on the ground over here that's hitting me that's actually lighting me. I want to walk over here because you're going to be absolutely stunned by this. And I think people need to see this. Look, look at how crazy bright wow. these lights are. This is the only <laughs> light studio right now. Got one mounted up here. You can see the ones. But guy, this is a no-brainer for this. Yeah, I it know. It is a no you know what? I am buying, you know, it's funny. I'm buying all the solar lights that you've presented so far today. I'm getting them all <laughs> today. Well, because listen, I, love it. I don't, I don't need a spotlight that stays on all the time over my, um, over my recycle bin. Like I have a recycle bin in a garbage area over yeah. there and I always sure. worry, you yeah. know, skunks, raccoons, all that stuff. Even, I'm sorry, even you guys will, you know, my squirrels will eventually try to get <laughs> out there. Squirrel. These are friend squirrel. These, these, these guys we feed, so they're good. But, uh, when you go out there, it's pitch dark, and I'm always worried that there's going to be a skunk out there. Because I believe it or sure. not, I, I was sprayed by a skunk when I was 12. All right, and it's not something you ever forget. And if the light <laughs> goes on, because the animals will scurry when the light comes on, whether they set it yep. off or you set it off, so it's a great feature to have. I'm thinking too, Lou. Right? What, what about right over the entryway to your garage? Right? Oh, Every yeah. time your, garage, your senses door. senses your vehicle, the light will go on. Yep. Right? So it's perfect for yep. that. How are you doing this for $20? I mean, honestly, Lou, a one with this much power, I would have thought it would have been yeah. $39.95, not $19.95, so you are stealing them away. Right now, my producer, uh, Andre, says black is uh, the most popular, be the first one to go. But, I mean, think about this if you're just trying to protect your home from bad guys, right? Somebody yeah. walks up yep. to your house, they don't belong there. You want that light to trigger on. You're walking your uh, girlfriend home or your boyfriend home, whatever it is, and you want them protected. Maybe you want to put this outside under your basketball court, right? So the kids can go out there, got a little light to shoot some hoops in. Remember, it stays on as long as it detects motion. No issues there, but for security, for safety, and actually, Lou, ease of, of install, because all you're doing is putting a couple screws in the wall, Great. right? Yeah, or you, or you, use, the, you uh, use the included spike and you just, as a steak, I should say, and you just spike it into the ground or into the mulch or into a flower pot or, you know, however you want to do that. But look at that right there. On a fence post, you can put these. You can put it on a mailbox. I mean, you can put it anywhere where you want to have that nice light. And the cool thing about it is, remember what I said, there is a motion sensor in this. It'll stay on for 30 seconds, but if their motion is continuous, so in other words, if you're just, you noticed before when I was standing uh, on the set here, the lights will stay on as long as it senses motion. So it's really great that way. I mean, there's no switch you have to throw or anything. And speaking of which, you know, people always say to me, well, you know, I've got a motion light outside. This is the kind of motion light a lot of people get. And you see it's got a motion sensor on it. Got one of these, man. You got to yeah. get power to it somehow. So <laughs> ours you could mount on a tree. You could mount them on the side of a barn. I mean, you put them anywhere you want. This is one of the lights. And I actually own a couple of these guys here. They're battery operated. Well, you know, what happens with the batteries over time? They get corroded. You don't even notice sometimes that they're not working anymore because you forget about them. You forget to right. replace the batteries. Sure. That's why I love the solar option guy because, you know, just like you and me, we don't need more things to do. <laughs> we got enough going on. Yeah. I want something that's going to take care of itself. Yeah. Lou, just, and I, just take care. Lou and I had the, the, the honey do list has become the honey do list as long as it's oh. not hard. Honey do <laughs> As long as it's easy. <laughs> honey don't list. $20, all right? As I said before, yeah. you know, you, the, the garden dealer, great deal for $20. This is incredible. My producer, Andre, in my ear just said, I'm buying three of these as soon as I get off the show. Because <laughs> everybody needs them, right? And no maintenance, no electricity. The install is, what, a minute and a half. You gotta put a couple of screws into the wall. That's all you do. You could put them on a tree. I love your idea of putting yeah. them out in the yard on a tree so if the kids wanna go out there and play, they have a light that'll stay on as long they as do. they need it to. And unlike a, uh, you know, a light that stays on all night, like a regular solar light, this just sips power. So you're never gonna have to worry about it dying on you, right? It, it doesn't need as much no, power true. during the day or as much direct sun to be able to get you the ability of those lights. And look at the LEDs. There's eight of them jammed in there. That's what gives you that great light. It's something you can count on. There's the install. Hey, you wanna put it on a fence post, <clears throat> right? Put it on your mailbox. I don't care where you put it, put it anywhere and you will love it. $20 bill is all you, uh, it will cost you. Best bet right now is to uh, go online and order this. Don't call us if you, if you don't have to. Uh, we have a lot of people that are calling, probably asking questions. Let me answer them all. You ready? Solar, you never have to plug it in, no batteries. LEDs, you never have to replace the bulbs. They're, they're lifetime bulbs, they're never gonna go out, all right? Not for years, not in our lifetime, because they don't burn no. hot, they burn cold. Right. They, are, they are not an element, uh, you know, like a, like a halogen light. 
that are like 12 bucks a bulb. I mean, you pay more for the bulbs than you do for the light, right? This is eternal. You'll never have to replace that. No electric to run. They can go anywhere as long as they get some sun, all right? Because these are solar powered. Remember, you can articulate the solar panel all the way back, all the way forward, left to right, wherever you need to get the sun, it'll hit that panel. And look at the size of the panel. Remember, when it comes to cost yeah. and solar, Lou, you know this, right? Lou, did you ever have somebody come out and do a, a, a or, or call you or give you an estimate on what solar panels cost for your roof? <laughs> oh my God, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's insane. Yeah, it's insane. But I mean, you know, in this instance though, you're getting that massive solar panel and a lot of times we think that solar lights can't put out a lot of light. I just want you to look at what I got going on around me. I got this guy here on, I had to trick it because it sees the other lights, but watch this. I'm gonna real quick just kind of go around behind me just so you could see. Wow. Look yeah. at how crazy bright yeah. that spotlight is, even making the other ones go off yeah. because it is so and bright. And by the but way, I mean, that, that, yeah, Lou, real quick, Lou, move to, yeah. your, move to your left about six inches. Move to your left. This left? Yeah. This left. Look at that okay. light. By the way, those lights are still available, the flicker lights. <laughs> well, you got, I oh, have to show you your flicker light. I am so in love. I can't wait to order these. Those are still available, by the way, if you want to get them. We'll put up the item number. I know people are looking at those that, that weren't on earlier with us, Lou, and they're going, tell me about those lights in the background. <laughs> we, we still have those yeah. available. You get four of those still for $49. They're still available if you want to pick those yeah. up. Um, but we are focusing on the single light. You know, this, and this is different than those lights. The way it's different is these are solar motion spotlights. So solar powered, motion activated. I have to have the lights off for it to work. Motion activated, all right? And totally, as we said, wireless. They don't, you don't need to do anything. This is how they'll come to you. I'll hold them up. Here's black, here's white. All right, so you have the ability to put these anywhere you want. They will come with the stakes. I have the stake posts on these. So if you wanted, you know, realistically, Lou, if you wanted to have these yeah. like in the ground up to your, um, like up your walkway, when you get home at totally. night, when you get home at night, your yep. stairs up to your house will be lit up because they'll catch your motion. You know, tripping yep. over stairs, very dangerous, especially going down. These will these will illuminate your stairwells outside. And it's in sight. Yes. Yeah. Perfect, Lou. It gives you that instant light wherever you, I mean, you could see how hot the one is that I'm, when I say hot, I mean bright. The one that's on me right over here, I've got one mounted above me. We've also got two mounted in a flower pot here. One of them was illuminating me at the desk and the other one is doing the wall behind me. Look, I mean, just look how crazy bright these lights are. I mean, and that's not something you expect from a solar light guy. You don't expect it right. from LEDs, but my <clears throat> gosh, these things. And you know what's really throwing everybody off, I think, it's throwing me off, the price. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I know. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but I can't well, help it. It's you know just, what? It's ridiculous. It, it's, it's makes it possible for everybody to get them. And, and I think what's important too, Lou, is that the install is not difficult. If you're a senior nope. out, if you're a senior out there, I don't want you getting on a ladder. So have your kids get on a little ladder to screw it in for you. My mom's in her 80s. I don't want her to be being just being totally honest with you. But if you're just putting it right under your entryway, you could probably reach that very, very easily. Um, if you're putting it in the backyard, again, simple. A couple of screws is all you need. You'll never have to change a battery. You'll never have to change a, a light bulb. You know that's and listen. I, I had all that, you know, back in the day I had wired lights and I had halogen bulbs and maybe some of you had the, you know, the big, big spotlights, the ones that when they get wet, they steam up, you know, the ones you had in the corner of your house. Those bulbs are like $10 just for the bulb, right? And you got to replace it every year because it gets yeah. hot. And when you have cold rain on a hot surface, they crack, then they shatter. Then you got to get up there and try to unscrew them. You're never going to have to do that. These are lifetime maintenance free. For $19.95, back to Lou's point, like Lou, we had the garden kneeler earlier, and I'm like, there are some things yep. that are just too well priced to, to not go for, this is one of them. And by the way, you have till the end of January to make up your decision. <laughs> so if on the, the middle, if, if by Christmas you're like, you know what, I don't like these lights, you can go ahead and return them. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's a $20 bill, you're gonna love them, all right? Get black or white. We have people buying more than one set. I am down to my final seconds. Lou, give me some final thoughts on these. I, you know what, I think this is a no brainer for everybody out there. I think for the quality of the light, the motion sensor, the safety, the beauty you're gonna get from these. And the fact that these are made by Bell & Howell, man, 110 years in the business, 99 countries they're in right now. They've won awards for lighting in cinema. Just take a look. 
at how bright that light is. And remember, there's no batteries in this that you ever have to replace. All done by the power of the sun. It's all I solar. love it. I love it. Hey, Lou, uh, really quickly while we got you there, we want to mention our flicker flame lights one more time. Will you sure. just give me like 30, okay. 30 seconds on this four pack? Best deal we've yeah. ever done on solar. I'm buying them today. I think everybody's buying them. Give us some time, Lou, go ahead. Yeah, these guys are beautiful. Here's what you don't expect with these. First of all, they're made out of metal, which is a wonderful, wonderful feature. They've got the uh, SMD LEDs inside of them. They give them a very, very realistic flicker effect. Exclusive to HSN, you're gonna get the stakes for these. So you can stake them into the ground and you can switch them from white to flicker. They, you're not getting two white and two that flicker. You're getting all of them and they bow, all four of them are gonna switch from white to flicker guy. They look absolutely stunning and they're way, way brighter in person than you would ever believe. Lou, I can't tell you how excited I am to get these. <laughs> I cannot these are wait awesome. to get them home. I'm dying to see what my property's gonna look like with that coach light candlelight flickering all over. And imagine holiday season too. Thank you, Lou. Great job today, buddy. Welcome, Appreciate buddy. it. Really do. You're welcome. And all take right. care. See you later. All right, so we have our pick. This is actually my pick of the entire block, and this is a pressure washer. Why? I Listen, my first pressure washer I ever owned, I bought off HSN four years ago. Um, great pressure washer, 1800 PSI. I still have it, I love it. Unfortunately, my son Danny took it to college because he likes to have his car washed pretty much every other day, so now I don't have a pressure washer. I spent $179 on that 1800 PSI, and I love it. This is a better model. This has more power. This is almost half the price. We are doing a special today for our Guy in the Garden show of 109 down from 131. If you don't own a pressure washer, let me fill you in on the many, many, many ways that you're gonna use it. First of all, you now have your own personalized high-powered car wash. Anytime you wanna wash your car, anytime you wanna get the dirt off the tires, you know that brake dust that you gotta scrub, don't worry about it, you can utilize this, all right? And if you do need the detail, don't forget about the, uh, don't forget about the garden kneeler. That helps you out to clean all those areas so you don't have to bend over. Um, but this thing is a monster. I love it. But it's one anybody can handle. I don't want you to go to the home store and spend, you know, $1,200 on a pressure washer and have to put gas in it uh, and deal with all that and you gotta put oil in it. Don't deal with that. Get a pressure washer that's easy to use. This is lightweight and portable. I love that it's on wheels. It'll go anywhere you need it to go. Right, I love that, it stands up on its own. I don't have to drag it around. It comes with the pistol grip, which is my favorite because it's easy on the hands. All you do is squeeze, it's all that you need to do. This is your little, it's a, you know, the hand, the hand squeeze style. Uh, it comes with every other feature. Look at all the brass fittings. Wherever there's a connection, you see these great brass fittings. Um, it comes with a coupler for your hose. All you do is plug one end, uh, one area into your garden hose and plug the other uh, uh, electrical cord into the wall and you can clean anything. Your pool area, your sidewalks, your driveway, dirt, debris, mold. It even has that little angler tool. That is brilliant to be able to get underneath things, underneath your car, underneath your lawnmower to get all the debris out of there. It comes with that turbo blaster attachment. All this for 109. Lowest price I've ever seen on this. It weighs 16 pounds. It is on sale today, 2,000 PSI. This actually saves you water when you're washing because what it does is it takes a great concentration of water and it squeezes it into a very fine concentration of water so you get the great power and cleaning ability of like what, basically like sandblasting but with water, right? But you're using less water okay, because it's aerating and it's super powering and supercharging the water. So you are actually saving money on water when you wash your car. You know when you put the regular garden hose on, it's just a big thick stream of water. This is gonna take that water, look, love that, and it's gonna put it down into a powerful spray or jet. All the uh, uh, essentials are included, including all the uh, extra ones, the uh, quick connect spray wand, all the nozzles, the jet, the turbo, the 90 degree nozzle, which we showed you for getting under your car, the trigger gun holder, um, everything that you need to clean and get all those things perfectly uh, tidy. Item number is 702071. I'm gonna introduce you uh, back to my good, uh, my man out there, Justin Hyatt. Justin, did you see? The discount, 20, what, tw $21 off today to pick it up, flex pay. Get a brand new HSN credit card, $10 off, make it $99. What a steal of a deal. Really a steal of a deal. You even think about if you're gonna go out and rent one, which you absolutely can. You can go to some of your big home stores and rent them for a day, and for what you'd pay for that one day, you could own one. 
And to own one at this price, that 2,000 PSI is the biggest thing because not only do you have the power, but that means you're gonna save time. We were just showing you all the different nozzles. Guy was talking about all the different ways you can use this. If you wanna be able to clean this just for your garage, I'm showing you with the variable nozzle, I can switch this to a fan. Now this could be just dirt and debris stuck on the garage door. This could be just pollen that's been stuck on here. How many of you have been thinking about getting a new fence? Well, instead of getting a new fence, grab a pressure washer because this is what I consider the uh, time machine. It's an eraser for everything outside. Again, here's that fan spray. As I focus that spray, look how far back I am. And you can start to take off years and years of that mildew that's built up on your fence, on your decking, on that maybe wow. that dock that you've got. Um, guys, this is, like you said, this is taking that hose and truly turning it into that car wash inside of your, or right at your garage, save water consumption. You're gonna save nearly 50% on water consumption, and yet this is 2,000 PSI, your garden hose, 50 PSI. <laughs> all of your decks, if you wanna clean all of those decks, look at that, look how far back I'm standing, and yeah. again, all of those different pavers that you can spray too, and it still weighs less than 17 pounds and it has those wheels. And oh, one of the things I love too, Guy, I know you mentioned, it's 50 feet of a hose and extension uh, and, ex and a cord. So you don't even have to gra dra grab an extension cord to bring it outside if you needed to. It is truly a four season product. I know a lot of people look at it, they go, wait, winter's coming. I'm like, are you kidding me? If you get dirt and debris or even ice, you know, I've, I've used it to get ice, uh, you know, up, up north, my dad had one, he'd use it to get ice off the deck because he had a hot tub out there. He's like, I'm gonna just take that pressure washer, blow this stuff up. You can use it all season. Of course, you're gonna use it more in springtime, summer and fall. Fall is a great time because you wanna clear off all your decks. You wanna clean off anything before winter comes. It's the way to do it. And I love your point about saving 50% on water. I, I wasn't sure exactly how much, but I know, you know, when you wash a car, you're basically just taking dollars and you're just dumping them down the drain, right? Because you keep that car wash going, your hose is going, and how many of you are guilty of trying to put your thumb over the end of the hose thing to try to make it a little more powerful? Or then you gotta take the thing off and put the, the, the attachment on, then you gotta take that off to rinse the car. You don't have to do any of that with this, okay? Everything is included uh, to be able to get your, uh, your car nice and clean. It really is the way to go um, when it comes to, um, to, to pressure washing. It's a very easy machine to use. Basically two, two things. You got an area where you plug in uh, your nozzle to wash, and then you have an area where you plug in your water supply. That's it. Obviously that's got a water thing on it, so that's where you put your hose. And then you've got all that extra footage of, of not only uh, the, the hose itself, but also the plug so that you can wheel it wherever you need it. I love it just as a car washer, but I will tell you I've used it. You know what, I had stuff growing on the bottom uh, around the entire, uh, my entire house, above, like above the, below the shingle line, I have cement. That stuff was turning a weird shade of orange. And I actually had my landscaper tell me, he goes, oh, that's like a, it's like a mold, it grows. It's really hard to get rid of. I tried every chemical that, to try to get rid of it, spraying on there, and he goes, no, 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 it, would, it lives like within the pores of the cement, you gotta, you gotta blast it out. And he said, use a pressure washer. Sure enough, the guy was right. It's the only thing to be able to take it off. Um, but remember, a pressure washer is still not a toy. Um, it, I would not give this to little kids, all right? Because the water that comes out of there is very powerful. You wanna keep your hands away from it, but you, when you're using it in the different modes, here in the sprayer mode, you'll be amazed at how it removes mildew off your cushions. Not only that, how else would you wash that wicker chair? I mean, you gotta get, what, you gotta get a toothbrush and try to <laughs> get impossible. How else would you wash the, your, um, the shutters on your, on your window, right? Or that, look at that. How would you get up inside there unless you had a toothbrush? Use a pressure washer. Yeah, and I actually, I have a cushion out here and then I wanna show you one thing. I've left a rug out here in the summer in the heat and we've got mildew. We have had mildew growing on this cushion. We've got that turbo nozzle. Look at how easily you can clean out all of those cushions. We've all done it. We forgot to put our cushions back inside or covered them up and it's got covered in you know, mildew and pollen. You can do that. This guy, you're gonna love. This carpet was a brand new carpet a few months ago. Do you see all the mildew that's growing oh, on it? Oh yeah. If, okay, nasty looking, right? Check this out. With that turbo nozzle, we can start to clean up wow. all of that mildew Look at that. off of our rug and it's gonna look Oh, that's great. Thank you, new again. Look at that demo. And you know what? 
How else would you do that? You'd, you know what? You'd probably have to put bleach on there and then say goodbye to all the rest of the colors on that carpet <laughs> because you can't put <laughs> bleach on things like that. Now, I will give everybody one fair warning as we're only about four minutes left. Um, as I said before, be careful on painted surfaces. This is a pressure washer. It is very powerful. You wanna make sure on a painted surface that you're using the fan brush, not that jet blaster, because that will take paint off. It won't hurt your car because that's a sealed painted surface. But like I said, if you've got outdoor furniture that you painted, you wanna go easy on that and just sit back a little bit. You'll find that the key to a pressure washer is the closer you get to whatever you're cleaning, the more powerful that little laser of water is gonna be. You'll figure it out over time. I love this, um, this unit, especially Justin, as a way to uh, sort of put your toes in the water. It's not too expensive, but it's still powerful. I told you, I don't know if you heard me, I bought, I bought one from about four, four, five, six years ago. I still have it, I love it. The good brand, I think it was one of our Earthwise machines, but I spent $179 and it's 1,800 PSI. 2,000 PSI is, for this price, is huge, all right? And I don't think, I think it's what everybody needs. I mean, you could go and you could buy an industrial pressure washer or rent one. It's way more than the average homeowner needs. Way, 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 way more, all right? Because what you wanna clean is driveways, decks, your car, your boat, your RV, <clears throat> you know, sidewalks, you wanna get grout areas. Maybe you wanna go, you know that area around your pool where you get the little ring around the pool? You wanna do that? You wanna get rid of bird gunk on your car? This is the way to do it, <laughs> right? And I love, talk to me about that angle brush. That thing is awesome. That thing is awesome. You know, I can, every time I see it, I think about when I was living up in Minneapolis, you know, all those salted roads, all the ice that builds up underneath and then it comes, you know, everything defrosts, but how do you clean the bottom of your car? Grab one of these, you have that 90 degree angle, you mentioned it perfect for lawn mowers, you pop it off, very simple and easy to pop off these different tips and then to pop them back on again. Same thing that you wanna do with that 90 degree angle and you have three different tips that you're getting included. I just switched back to that variable nozzle because I wanna go back to the fence. I think this shows you, you have that fan spray, but as I start to just twist that nozzle, you can see, look, I actually started to literally take chunks out of that fence. That's what you have for 2,000 PSI. I want to mention, Guy, you were saying, you know, why do you want 2,000 PSI? I'm going to take this out of my coach's book, my football coach. Do it right, do it light. With 2,000 PSI, you can do it off of one pass-through instead of a 1,300 PSI where you're sitting there and you have to do it two or three right, times. Right. For instance, even our, even our decks. You know, even with our decks, you know, you get a brand new deck, before you know it, one year later, and it starts to look like this. And even your pavers, do you have areas of your home where that's not getting a lot of sun, gets a lot of water and rain, it starts to get slimy and moldy? Grab your pressure washer. Even your driveways, even if you wanna just do the sidewalks around your home, you spend a lot of money on your pavers, you wanna keep them clean. And then I wanna go back straight over, I know we're running out of time, I wanna do this really quick because I think this is the best thing, I'll just do it in two seconds. Clean that rug that's outside and make it new again. You yeah. can see the difference that we've done already <clears throat> with that other nozzle. It's gonna make cleaning everything easy and actually fun. <laughs> and that, hey, let me tell you something. One product that I use at my house, there's two things that actually I use at my house that everybody asks me in my neighborhood about. One is my pole saw, because I've got a, you know, I've got a great electric chainsaw and they love that. The other thing is the pressure washer. They're like, that is awesome, I love it, it's compact, it's portable. I'm like, oh my gosh, one of the best things. And most borrowed, most borrowed thing, my <laughs> yeah. pressure washer. Everybody's <laughs> after my pressure washer. Get your own with this price today, you can't afford not to. Great deal, thank you, Justin. Great job, buddy, we'll see you again soon. My guy, I'll see you. See you, brother. All right, 702071. I'm not sure how long the feature price will last, but take advantage of it now. Get a pressure washer, you're gonna love it. All right, everybody, that's it for me. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Now that's clever, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Stay tuned, because Bobby's coming your way next with Patricia Nash and a wonderful Today special. Let's let the squirrels take us to break. Bye-bye. journey to Greece and discover innovative beauty solutions that are time-tested.
powered by the Greek flora. Carez harnesses a wealth of plant species that exist only in Greece. We handpick our Greek botanicals and extract them in our own labs. By combining the best of nature with science, Carez delivers powerful results in each product. Immerse yourself in the beauty of Carez on HSN and HSN.com. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. 